So I'm uh, Dr. Sam, a veterinarian here at the Greensboro Science Center. Uh, I've got Sam uh, Andreski, our my veterinary technician, and today we're going to show you guys how to trim the hooves on sheep and alpacas. So you guys saw a uh, goat before for hoof trimming. Now we've got a sheep. Very reluctant patient, um, but just wanted to show you guys a little bit different uh, foot conformation than the goat. Pretty similar, but uh, slightly different. So come on around back. So we got the best light back here. Watch out, sheepy, get out of here. So just like the, the goat, I mean, same kind of uh, setup. You got two big toes, you got the little dew claws here. Um, and the same issues happen with them where this hoof wall on the outside can overgrow and then it kind of comes and folds over. So this little sheepy doesn't need too much trimming, but just for, to show you guys, just gonna trim off those little areas where it's overgrown. Maybe a little bit on this heel just to give a nice flat walking surface. A little bit in between the toes. Maybe some of that too. All right, there's a trimmed hoof on a sheep. To round out our um, hoof trimming extravaganza, we're going to uh, try out an alpaca as well, just to show you guys uh, slightly different anatomy. So the, whereas the sheep and goats were pretty similar in the appearance of the hoof uh, and the conformation, uh, alpacas are quite different. So if you approach it the same way, you're gonna wind up with a mess. So it may take a, a couple more assistance to help with uh, restraining an alpaca um, or else a harness and a, a wall. These guys can kick a little bit harder, but it generally um, doesn't hurt too bad. So we're gonna just kind of Get a leg in here and then carefully reach down. I'm going to set the trimmers down until I get that foot in a position I want to trim it at. Pick the leg up. Okay. And then if you look at this foot, again, you've got two toes, but they're connected here in the middle. So, yeah, this is all uh, soft, kind of leathery pad. And the only things we're going to focus on are these two claws out here on the very end. And just like in the goats and the sheep, this hoof wall can start to overgrow. It'll kind of fold over. It can change how the foot lands on the ground, so it can cause some orthopedic issues, but it can also trap that dirt and grime and feces and the like. Now these are quite short, so there's not a whole lot we need to take off, but just to show you guys, I'm just gonna take it, the edges of those off. Mike's been doing a great job keeping these guys trimmed up. Coming to help out, Snowball. All right. There you go. You're done. Yeah.